95 Honda Accord, how to remove your car's computers. You have two computers underneath the floorboard on the passenger side, underneath that carpet, there's a kick plate. Very easy to take both of them out. Now 95 makes this a fifth generation Accord, which ran from 94 to 97. So if you have an Accord between those years, this should be exactly what you're looking at. To get the carpet up, there are two plastic tabs, one right here and one up on top. Both of those have to come out. You can take a prying tool like this or a flathead screwdriver, put it in behind that tab, and those will pop out. The one up top's a little tougher to get to, but it's the same thing. Now you can get the carpet out of the way. And if yours is like mine, this piece of carpet goes all the way underneath across to the driver's side behind the center console. And it's a solid piece of carpet. So years ago, I cut mine off so that I could pull this carpet down farther. And right here behind this kick plate are your engine control unit and transmission control unit. Now you have four 10 millimeter nuts that you need to remove, one in each corner. And you need a deep set 10 millimeter socket to get those off because the posts that those nuts are threaded onto are long posts and a short standard socket will not fit over them. You need a deep socket. Now we can pull that kick plate off of those posts and fold it down. And there are your car's computers. Engine control unit, transmission control unit. Now from here, there are three 10 millimeter bolts holding the TCU or transmission control unit on. One back here in the back, kind of underneath these wires. Once you get it loose, it's easier just to take the socket and back it out. There we go. Same thing with these, break them loose and then take the socket off. You can unscrew it easier. And now the TCU or transmission control unit is free. Wiring harnesses are still hooked on. And three more 10 millimeter bolts on the ECU. And last one. And the bolts holding the ECU on, the larger one, are a little bit longer than the ones holding the TCU on. So just keep track of that. Longer bolts go on the ECU. And now that's free also. You can get the kick plate out of the way if you want to. And you hear me keep calling this one the ECU and this one TCU. I believe the correct acronyms are ECM and TCM, which is Electronic Control Module and Transmission Control Module. I've just always called them Engine Control Unit, Transmission Control Unit. It's all the same thing you're talking about your car's computers. To get the wiring harnesses out, there are three of them on the ECU and two more on the TCU. They all come off the same way. There's a release tab in the center of each one. The way I do it is press on the tab and take a standard or a flathead screwdriver, work it in right at the base, twist it back and forth until it pops up a little bit, and then you can grab the plastic and pull it straight out. If you don't use the screwdriver and you just press on that tab and start pulling, then you run the risk of pulling one of these wires out. And that's a problem you don't want because you may not pull it out all the way and you might not know which one that you partially pulled out. That's why I've always used a screwdriver, pry it up a little bit, then you can grab the plastic and pull that out. That's always worked for me. For reinstallation, you just put them back in and press down until they click, and that's it. Now let's put it all back together. It goes back together with this little tab flat against the kick plate. Then you just line everything up, and remember these are the longer bolts. I'm going to do the other two the same way. All right, those three are on tight. Now the TCU. This one in the back by the wires can be a pain to get started. I was just about to leave that one off. That was like the fifth try. All right, everything's back on tight. Now I'll put the kick plate back in position. Now you just put the kick plate right back where you got it from. And it can be a little tricky working it back in there. There we go, got it over all four posts. Now I'll put those nuts back on, cinch them down tight. One, two, three, four. To get the carpet back in, you just push it back up into place, tuck it back in underneath the center console, put the two pins back in place, which can be a little tricky. Find that hole right there. There's one. One in the back's even trickier. It's a little more difficult to find, but that's it right there. So that's how you get your car's computers out of a 95 or fifth generation Honda Accord. Any older Accord, Civic, Odyssey, Prelude, any older Honda or Acura even, if your computers are located underneath the carpet on the passenger side, this should be good information for you. If not identical, it should give you an idea of how to get those computers out.
And if it turns out you have a faulty ECU and you need a new one, I'll put a link down below to a website that I found that'll give you a lot of information about these numbers. So if you need to replace yours, you can make sure you get the right one. So if you made it to the end, thanks for watching.